Perpelu from Converge, and this is my brand new Framus AK 1974 guitar that they just made for me. And uh, I'm loving it so far. This is gonna be my second show playing it. And it's kind of a little bit of a departure for me, but I figure if I'm gonna get a new guitar, I should try some, uh, try some new stuff. So I don't typically play the Les Paul guitar shape or the uh, Tunematic Bridge style <laughs> or passive pickups, but I'm giving a few new things to try um, with this guitar just to uh, get used to it. And it's a beautiful instrument. I mean, the, the workmanship that Framus does is second to none. I've actually probably never played a, a nicer guitar in my life. And, um, and just, you know, just the stuff that they do is beautiful and the, the craftsmanship is incredible. Uh, so what they've done is, uh, you know, I, I wasn't, uh, wanted to do something a little bit different than the standard AK-1974, so I actually asked them to make a few customizations to it. I've been a lifelong fan of Brian Setzer, so this is, a, in a way, kind of like a tribute to, to him, because his, his uh, custom Gretsch's kind of resemble this, um, although I'm sure they, they feel and play a whole lot different. Um, but I had them made it, um, you know, fully chambered, um, added the F-hole on the bottom, did uh, Les Paul style controls, added the Bigsby B7, um, using a Graph Tech bridge, and they don't typically have a pick guard on this model, but we added the, uh, the, the back painted gold pick guard, sort of a nod to Gretsch and to Rickenbacker and you know other classic American designs. And I've got some passive pickups in it here. Um, right now, uh, there's a Seymour Duncan Invader in the neck and a bare knuckle nail bomb in the bridge, which um, I hope works because I so I just installed that last night after our show and I haven't tested it yet. So <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it works. My uh, my little, little little soldering backstage in a rainstorm instead of watching Queens of the Stone Age at the, the show we played last night. So we'll bum on that. But yeah, cool guitar. It's um, it's a uh, mahogany body, maple top, carved maple top. And it's an open call neck, which is a type of rosewood, and it's just uh, an oil finish on the neck, so it's, uh, it's super fast. You know, some lacquers get a little tacky when you are uh, when you start sweating, and this stuff um, this stuff is just always super slick, and real real nice fretwork, and it's just a just a killer guitar all around.